Good morning, everyone. I'm ready now for the day. But the weather outside, it's cold and wet again and windy. Typical Irish weather, but I love it. play morning jazz coffee table jazz from spotify good morning michi So we're going food shopping today in Tesco. I'm going with Gail, so come and join me. We're so hungry, so I said to Gail, we'll pass by McDonald's. So here we are, we're going to have something to eat now, and then we'll later on show you what we bought, okay? So guys, I feel better now. We just finished eating the burgers that we bought from McDonald's. And here I laid all the stuffs that we bought from Tesco for you, for you to see. So I'm going to put them away now, so I shall see you in the next clip. The weather is so 
such lovely today. I think it's around 7 degrees, but it's bright and sunny, so explore somewhere else. show you. Welcome everyone to Johnstown Castle Gardens, which is part of the Wexford Garden Trail, an exploration of Wexford's beautiful and historic gardens. It is open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to half four in the evening or until half five in the evening during the summer. It is a wonderful place for a stroll on a fine day. The gardens are open to the public and there are some really lovely walks around the grounds. The pathways throughout the castle grounds meander through woodland garden and around lakes. A highly recommended place to visit if staying in Wexford. Johnstown Castle Estate has been home to two prominent Wexford families. The castle was built by the Esmond family, who settled in County Wexford in 1169. During the period of 1640s, the estate was confiscated and changed hands several times. It was then acquired by the Grogan family in 1692, who developed the castle, grounds, lakes, an estate that you see today and whose descendants remained at Johnstown up until 1945. The property was presented as a gift to the Irish nation in 1945 and was later occupied by the Department of Agriculture who established an agricultural institute here and undertook to maintain but not to alter the ornamental grounds. The grounds and gardens surrounding the castle were designed by Daniel Robertson, who is also well known for designing the garden terraces at Powers Court Estate, County Wicklow, and Wells House, which is also in County Wexford. The grounds are greatly enhanced by two lakes with foley towers, which are populated with a range of waterfowl. The best time to visit would be during the summer when all of the flowers are in full bloom. At the moment, the spring has just sprung. I love to visit here once in a while. I feel closer to my creator 
as I see a lot of his beautiful creations like this elegant looking swan. This is my favorite spot. I think it has the best view of the lake. Every time I sit here, I remember beautiful memories of my family when they came to visit us in December 2017. Psalm 104 verses 24 to 25 declares, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. Thank you very much everyone for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like that kind of content, please leave me a message down below so I will know. I would be looking forward to reading your messages. And also, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and I will see you all again next week. Bye!